on to Spain. So we're going to talk about Spain and Mickey and Nunes. Uh, Spain have participated 58 times, have won twice in 1968 and 1969. Um, however, in the last 10 years, they have done appallingly. They have finished in the bottom six on seven occasions. Uh, Mickey uh, himself finished quite poorly in his own Operación Triunfo, finished sixth. Uh, the winner was the, was the artist Famous. Um, this has been described as an infectious, festive, uh, but very typical Spanish uh, fiesta type song. Keen to hear what the panel think about this. Let's start with Tristan. Tristan, you followed up with Afion Triumpho right from the start. Um, and you were a bit, we, we've just sort of discussed this a while back, and you were a little bit indifferent to this song. What, what's your view now? Okay, well, um, yeah, so Spain. Um, I, I mean, I'm personally, I, when I first heard the Spanish, uh, I, was, I was listening to all the opera Afion Triumpho um, shows. Um, it wasn't one of my, he wasn't one of my favourite singers, and this wasn't one of my favourite songs. Um, and I was very surprised to see it doing so well in the polls um, and, and, at the, and at the bookies. Um, but then when the video came out, it, it went down quite a lot uh, in the polls. Um, because, and that's probably because people got very attached to the old version, um, and they felt that the revamp took away a lot of the innocence of the original version. Funnily enough, for me, it had the opposite effect. I like it a lot more now with the revamp. Um, and, of course, people, when they watch it in Tel Aviv, they won't have heard the original version, so they've got nothing to compare it to. I think the new version is excellent. It has added a really uh, good beat. It's made the, it made the instruments much more sort of brassier and... And and I love the 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 the, the electric the, the Spanish guitar that's been added to added to the, the revamped version. Um, uh, uh, just before the dog yeah, that bit, this is fantastic. It's really it's uh, it's it, it, it's going to do very well, and it's in, and this is one song that's been keep going up and up and up in my in my ranking. I think personally, this is going to be Spain's best um, best result in years. Um, it'll definitely be top ten. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm no doubt about that. Um, if we look back at sort of uh, over the last sort of 20 odd years, uh, I mean, when Spain has brought a male singer singing a Latin type song, uh, they've done very well. 2004, Ramon uh, with Para um, Llenar came came 10th. Uh, and, then, and then a few years before that, in 2001, David Civera, Dile Que came 6th. And I think it's going to be around about that, that mark. Between 6th and 10th, I'd go maybe 6th or 7th. For Spain, it's a good song. Uh, it's a lot better thanks to the revamp, uh, in spite of what some people uh, think who are attached to the old version. And yeah, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a good year, an exciting year for Spain. Thanks, Tristan. Mitchell, what are your thoughts? Okay, so um, I there's a lot that I appreciate and like about this song. I think if you listen from a technical point of view, it it's a really difficult song to sing. Um, and I, there's nothing I dislike about it, but for whatever reason, I'm still left not that into the song. Like I, I just disregard it. Um, I will definitely enjoy watching it and everything like that. But I think when I look at my favorites, it's not up there. Um, it's interesting because I like, you know, up tempo songs, but I think this is one that I wouldn't really choose to listen to. I think it's it's just kind of there's a lot of energy to begin with and at the end it's left with the same amount of energy um i don't see like any kind of progression except for the okay which is really good but then it goes back to the same energy as it's beget the whole song began with so definitely a, a fun street party song and i could hear them playing this um everywhere during eurovision but i i can't see it uh being at the top for me thank you Thank you very much, Mitchell. Martin, what, what's Spain doing for you? Is this is this a potential winner in your opinion? No, the <clears throat> the the problem I have with the revamp is obviously we've only got a effectively official video of it, and I've still got in my head, as Tristan's saying, the national final, which Mickey's wasn't the best singer, but he really sold it on the performance, and it. The charm was its amateurish nature. And I have said on the radio show yesterday, um, uh, yesterday, because I played the revamp, that the I compared it to Jedwood's in that in the, effectively what it was like in the national final 
was a bit like lipstick amateur but that was the charm it looked you know you just made you smile looking in running going around the stage with all with the sort of five girls with the sort of pretending to play the, their drums with the crowd really getting into it um and i don't know how this new version is going to be whether he's going to sing it better in which case is he going to lose some of the staging in which case is he going to i could have seen how he did it in the national final in spain getting loads of televotes no jury votes but loads of televotes um and that's my confusion at the moment i would probably want to see how the revamp is state how it sounds live and how how it's done live i mean i've still given it sort of seven out of ten so it's not bad but it does put it in the sort of you know 20s position for me so it'd be down the table really um but yeah i mean you know it, it's still up in the air i really liked how he did it in the national final but i think that was just the fact that it just made me really smile at the end of that long national final thanks martin down in the 20 in the 20s again for spain they'll be delighted to hear that and finally Gemma, Gemma, um this is going to be a banger in the hall in tel aviv right oh for sure i can't wait we're all going to be singing and dancing like it's just nice to actually have a happy song especially with all the ballads and what have you and it's just nice to actually have a song that you can just dance to and you can just have a little party to. I think it's going to be great. Um, I do think it probably will be in sort of the middle ground scoring wise, but I think it'll do really well. Yeah. So let's find out what we think we, it's going to do. So uh, Gemma, I, I, I just came to you last. So you said middle ground, sort of mid table for you. Yeah, definitely in the middle. Mid table. Joe, what are your thoughts? I think top 10. It's in my top three. I do love him. I've always loved him, whether it's the revamp or the original. Uh, but I think top 10. Great. Thank you, Joe. Martin, you sort of said 20s, didn't you? If he can get, if he can do the new version like he did in the national final and it's all staged that way, I could probably see it in the top half of the table because I think it would get lots of televotes, but it won't get hardly any jury votes. But we'll wait and see. I'm, I'm, I'm now a bit of a, I don't know where it's going to be since it's been revamped. Mitchell. 22nd. For me. 22nd. Poor old Spain. Tom, what are your thoughts? I reckon this is going to be Spain's best showing since they sent Ruth Lorenzo in um, 2014, which basically means I reckon they're going to occupy a slot within the teams. I don't see them in the 20s. I see them mid-table mediocrity. Uh, and finally, Tristan, quick thoughts on where yeah. they think they finish. Oh, I think top ten, six or, six or seventh. Yeah. Thank you, Ness. Eighteenth. Uh, Eighteenth. Um, I'm thinking Spain might do a little better than they have done in recent times. I could see this being around sort of mid table, mid table too. So we think Spain <laughs> are either going to do okay, finish top ten, or do an absolute disaster again for what would be their eighth time in 11 years in this case so there you go there you have it for spain